Well, I fiddled around some trying to figure out patterns, what I wanted to do. This seems to be working pretty good. I'm liking this deal. I'm using this white as kind of the base launch pad. Shifting blue colors darker and darker as I move along. I'll go ahead and work for the blues and then start with the darkest orange. Lots of the color and not much of the border. And that's the way I wanted it. With these colors, from a distance, you'll just see the uh, fading in of the blues and then the orange is jumping up against it. And it makes you want to look a little bit closer. And then you'll see the additional detail of this little black feature. We'll see how it goes from here. Every bead worker needs a cat. The cat must bless the project. That's right. Bless it. <laughs> Started in too soon. That's only four. I needed to go one more bead. Now I gotta undo a bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna film all of these mistakes. Oh my god. You wanna watch 20 minutes of a guy just screwing up all over the place? It's sick. So a neat thought on this pattern is I've been doing this kind of zigzag and then I loop back down and come down the other side and it's one complete hole. Another thought would have been what if I had this black line running all the way you know chopping and then I could have just continued the zigzag pattern on up for a full four or whatever I'm going to use this later on on some other piece because I'll be able to have four full colors interacting with each other all the way around the piece all connected together almost makes me want to tear down this piece and try that idea the other thing is that there's no set length that that each of these guys need to run you can see when I started this is really long so I could have varied the length of these uh, guys down to just a little wiggle and greater my head is just exploding with all the possibilities again well I finished up the blues on this and I'm starting into the orange here at the end so I'm moving right along here that's a real nice pattern the entire necklace needs to be about at least 22 inches to 24 inches these are two different colors of yellow orange but there's not much to choose from between the two overall though it's looking like a pretty strong piece well I thought I would end the pattern the way I started it here I would end the same thing over here when I got that done I'll, I looked at it some more tried a couple other things and it didn't work and I'm gonna go ahead and go back out through the oranges and back out through the blues and that will get me quite a ways down the road at a distance it will look pretty good as well gonna be pretty cool Kyle might actually wear it I am gonna stop at the other end and I, I want to put something a little extra here just small so here's the final product for Kyle's necklace again he'd asked me to use blues and oranges so I did a, a fade to a blue switching to a dark orange going all the way up to white and then back down to the dark orange and continuing around so one big pattern for this whole part right here I also did a smaller pattern critiques if you look closely I screwed up on the tan on this side I used the color I'd been doing on the orange side for the beige and on this one I did the color the, the lighter beige I'd been using on the blue side but it's a minor point. I think uh, I'll be the one that notices it and maybe a few other people, but by and large, he's just going to have to suck it up because I ain't going back. These dark orange beads, um, they are not the same size. They're slightly smaller in size than uh, the rest of the Miyuki beads. It's the same linking pattern from the start all the way through. It's the same pattern over and over. I think it would have been better if they had led towards the center here. This is supposed to be the part right here that's, you know, in the middle of the chest. I should have had where on this side it's going in like it is, and then on the other side, in the same lateral position that it's going in. 
the only out I can give myself is that it is reflective. It actually goes both ways. If I look at the other side, the pattern's pointed in the other direction. Overall, though, these are very minor points. The construction turned out pretty solid. I used the Fireline 14 pound test black. It's maybe a little too thick though. 14 pound test is simply too heavy. I really like how these back pieces turned out. A repeating two pattern and inside a repeating four pattern. A two row length of 12 beads works out pretty good with all the different repeating patterns I can do. The primary pattern here is really a repeating six pattern one side and then the other side. Overall, fairly simple project. Had a great time with it. Very pleased with the results. I think Kyle will like it a lot. I'd probably say this is the best necklace that I've done to date, both in design and execution. I really like it. I want to do more like this.